Game Ranks presents 10 Destiny facts you probably didn't know. With the Taken King releasing and year two of Destiny rolling out, the full game is a much better experience, so we want to talk about it, starting off with this fact at number 10. Destiny and other Bungie games are full of references, but this one might be because of some of what the developers were playing at the time while they were making the game. There's actually a Dark Souls reference in the game. A piece of exotic chest armor called Heart of the Praxic Fire comes with the description, in that last moment, she seemed as wholly luminescent as the sun, and I wish to be so brave. For those of you Dark Souls fans, this is a reference to the knight Solera of Astora, who can be summoned to help players during boss battles. <laughs> Even better, the armor also has a perk called Praise the Sun, so it's pretty safe to assume that Bungie developers are a big fan of the Souls games. And at number 9, like I said, we're starting off with easy stuff, but this one never gets old. There's a building on Mars that looks like Master Chief. Yes, look at it. This building looks just like Master Chief. This is completely a reference to him. There's no other way around it. This is near the Trenchworks area on Mars. I wonder if this building is going to finish the fight in Halo 5. That is a really bad Halo joke, and I apologize. But this building needs a weapon. Okay, alright, I'll stop. At number 8, the big question is, just how much does Destiny cost? Well, claims by Activision Blizzard CEO Bobby Kotick suggested that the total investment in Destiny would be like $500 million. This would make it one of the most expensive video games ever, and that's the number that everybody lost their mind over. However, Bungie CEO said that the development of the game isn't even close to $500 million. That being said, Activision has confirmed the $500 million figure, saying that it's infrastructure cost and investment, be it in the game's engine, marketing, advertising, and considering how long the game is planned to last seemingly multiple years. And is that working? Possibly. Last year, Blizzard had its most popular first quarter ever. All this stuff is coupled with the fact that Destiny and Hearthstone combined made over $1 billion in revenue. So if it is around $500 million, it makes sense because it seems to be working out for them. And at number seven, here's a fun fact about the environment. You probably noticed that acronym all over the buildings in the Cosmodrome that looks like it says POBA. It's like a P, a weird sort of Russian O, kind of a B, and an A. There's also some other texts with some similar letters. Well, the P-O-B-A is an acronym for the Russian Federal Bureau of Aeronautics. The longer versions of this phrase are the full phrase spelled out for you. You run across that logo a lot in the Cosmodrome area, so now you know. At number six, you're probably aware that Destiny is full of a bunch of science fiction references. Hell, the entire game is just a combination of a bunch of cool sci-fi elements. Well, Bungie even took influences down to the playable classes. The Hunter class is a lot like a bounty hunter. Bungie has often cited influences from Star Wars' Han Solo and many of Clint Eastwood's characters. Warlocks are basically like magical space wizards, and they're inspired by Jedis, Gandalf, and even elements of the One from the Matrix. And then, of course, the Titan class, the more shooter-soldier-based class, is inspired by stormtroopers, space marines, and of course, Course, Bungie's Master Chief. Most creations out there always take influences from other things, and it's good to see Destiny is picking from the right pool, and its heart is in the right place. And at number 5, you might not have noticed this, but when you go to the tower and teleport in, your ship flies in after you and then proceeds to dock in the hangar, which you can run over and watch happen right in front of you. So having a cool ship to show off isn't completely useless, because you do get to see it interact with the tower world sometimes. And you know what? The amount of work it takes to get a cool ship, you damn right better see it in the hangar, because that shit is worth it. And at number 4, Destiny's planets are full of real-world locations on actual planets. Ocean of Storms is an actual location on the moon, as is Ishtar on Venus. You'll find a few other examples. Also, Russia was once a real place on planet Earth. And at number 3, call me stupid, but I didn't actually know this. Where you aim your melee knife attack actually matters. I always thought it was just normal first-person shooting stabbing. You stab them and then they die or they take damage. But the melee attack also matters where you aim, whether high or low. If you aim towards what an enemy's head is, it'll do more bonus damage. So now you know. And at number two, here's some speculation for you, but the Destiny lawsuit documents that came out around Marty O'Donnell, the music composer, actually revealed Destiny's story was, quote, substantially revised during 2013, and that's what caused the delay in the game's release. Now, uh, the big question here, though, is what was substantially revised? Because the base game didn't really have much story to it in the first place. So is the Taken King's bit of story the real story that was cut in 2013 for the first year of the game? We may never know, but it's fun to speculate. And at number one, if you were a Halo 3 ODST player, you may have caught the first reference to Destiny. This first known reference to the entire game was shown in 2009's ODST. There's a sign on a wall that reads, Destiny Awaits. On the poster, it shows a picture of Earth with a mysterious orb floating around it. Now, of course, you could say that that orb is the moon, but it doesn't really look like the moon. It looks like the Traveler. It's just a big, plain, white, monolithic orb. And the weirdest thing is that in the Xbox One Master Chief Collection version of ODST, they went ahead and actually changed that poster. 
The first other actual real references to Destiny were shown in Bungie's August 2011 20th anniversary documentary. It was called Oh Brave New World, and it teased what Bungie was working on next, including concept art and showing some motion capture work. Destiny was known for a long time by its codename Project Tiger, until it was later revealed as Destiny. In 2012, contract disputes between the creators of the Call of Duty franchise Jason West and Vince Sampella revealed some interesting documents about Activision's plans with Bungie. The contract actually outlined an agreement between Bungie and Activision to make four Destiny games. Yes, four Destiny games. And the first one was planned to be released around the second or third quarter of 2014. And the rest is history. This is of course details from a contract from 2012. So are we really getting four Destiny games? We're just gonna have to wait and find out. So guys, those were 10 facts about Destiny you probably didn't know. Destiny is filled with a bunch of secrets, Easter eggs, and weird locations and armor and lore to find. So if you are a fan of Destiny, let us know in the comments what you think about it. And let us know any secrets you may have discovered traveling across the galaxy. If you did learn a thing or two, click the like button, because that really helps us out. And subscribing is the best thing you can do if you're new, because we put out videos like this every single day. But thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.